Hi, I'm Dave. This is Dave's Weird Project, and I'm back with more Undertale. We are in Snowden, that little town that we found. Uh, we've been in the shop. Did we go in the inn yet? I don't think we did. Let's go check out the inn. It's a bunny, like the other bunny. Welcome to Snowed Inn, Snowden's premier hotel. <laughs> One night is ADG. So, if we get health back... How much... How much cash do I have? If we get health back when we hit the save point, what is the point of an inn? <clears throat> Who are you? Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. Well, thank you, game. You just <laughs> answered my question. Sure, let's try it. over there. They're, they're sleeping three to a bed. Do we... Okay. You look like you had a great sleep, which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Wait, did I cause it to quit? Oh, 38 out of 36. And I didn't pay anything. Okay, well, cool. Alright, we got a little igloo here. Don't want to talk to the other side of the... Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Oh, okay. But I want to talk to these cool people. Hello. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. This one? Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Aren't you a bun bun? Alright, oh, we got a holiday tree, Christmas tree, something. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. Oh yeah, I fought that guy. Well, I helped him get the stuff off of him. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's addition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. And it's called Torture Day. Because that's... Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Yeah, that's that's what we do. Grill bees, I heard of this. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. <laughs> that's kind of how it is here, too. Um, okay, should we go in grill bees? Let's check out grill bees. Oh, the murder animals that wanted to murder us your deal. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help. I want new drinks and hot guys. Hmm. Isn't human food different from monster food? Yes, you could swallow my head, so probably. It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Yeah, what, do you, what does yours do? Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. Yeah. Yo, the capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. Oh, yeah, that would suck. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip onto their butts. Like that, uh... Those people that were running in the ice one time, and she fell on her butt right on camera. The jukebox is broken. Da 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 Grilbz said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Okay. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. Okay. Who is Al Gore, then? She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. Undyne? It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. What are you teaching your kids? I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. I, you know, I don't judge. It's playing poker against itself. 
<laughs> it appears to be losing. Oh, poor guy. Uh-oh. Yeah, okay. I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, Attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Hmm. Okay. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I respect you. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. Yeah. Any other fun things? Can I, can I like, can I stack the deck in this guy's favor so maybe he wins a little bit? No. Alright. Hello, bundle mouse. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Like, monster warming. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. Oh, those are the, those are the crises. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. Yeah. Hello, horn man. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? I mean, that's a very middle path philosophy. I like that. Um, library. Ooh, are there books? Lots of books. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. Was it? Library. That look in your eye. <laughs> You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? There's like a Mike Wazowski joke in here somewhere about, Look, I'm in a game, I'm in a game. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Cool. Cough, cough. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. You might want to get that cough check, though. It's a school report about monster funerals. Oh. <laughs> Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on the person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. Monster funerals, we spread your ashes on the thing you like. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us, but they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Doug Henning won't like a word with you. Here I am, write this, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Oh. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill... Uh, let's end the chapter here. We don't want any of that information stuff getting out. Monster History Part 4. Where was Part 1, 2, and 3? Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh, cold, damp swampland and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Yep. Cutting commentary. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. Uh -huh. But this one, this mailbox is labeled papyrus. <gasps> Look inside. Yes. It's empty. Papyrus doesn't get any mail. I want to mail papyrus a letter. 
So is this is this Papyrus and Sansa's house? It's locked. Okay. It's locked from the inside. Is that locked from the outside? Okay. Is this going to be... This is the end. There, now there was an upward path. I've been missing a lot of paths. So we're going to go back and try to find that upward path. Do, 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 do. Okay. And we're up here. Oh, there's more town. What are you? Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. You suave blobby. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Ah. 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 <laughs> okay, I need to ask my son how many times I have to knock on this door. Ah. Ah. I'm gonna fast forward through this in editing. <laughs> the game is playing chicken with me. Alright. Let's play monsters and humans. Am I t is that a little monster? Like a little bug? Okay, alright. Oh, the ice cube factory. Ah, I hate this. Ah, this one too. He's just throwing them into the ocean. Or sea or whatever. Okay, well. Cool. Alright, that was productive. Ah, what a beautiful... Okay, just reset. I'm going to disappoint you this time, knock enthusiast. Mm -mm -mm. Leaving the library behind. Don't know who's in there. Don't know if I'll ever be back here. The game seems to generally follow a kind of a left to right. Oh, well. Oh, we're going to confront our existential crises. <gasps> it's Papyrus, I think. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Whoa. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. Papyrus, I think you are awesome. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. Papyrus, you're a little bit full of yourself. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not. You should be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your... Ellipsis. No. No. This is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You're a human. I must capture you. Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus. The newest member of the Royal Guard. Okay. So, we knew that he had uh, some kind of blue, blue attack. Let's flirt with him. Yo, Papyrus. What, flirting? Listen, man, I love your bones. So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later, after I capture you. All right. So, okay, we got bones down here. All right. Feeling okay about this so far. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Flirt some more. Oh no! Let's date later. After I capture you. Okay. Still feeling pretty darn good about this. I don't want to insult him. Check him. Attack 20, defense 20. He likes to say, meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Okay, still, uh, still just these little bones. Said something about him dabbing, I think I messed up. 
dab some bone cologne behind his ear. Oh, that kind of dabbing, okay. Oh, I'm so dumb. The fire is... How selfless. You want me to feel better about fighting you? I don't deserve such hospitality from you. Little, little bones again. Let's spare him, just right now, so he won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack! Beep. Oh! You're blue now. That's my attack. Yeah! <laughs> You're blue now. I don't... <laughs> oh, what? The music got interesting. Paris is too busy fighting to flirt back. Let's date later. Gotcha. MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. Anime powder. Okay. I didn't do a lot. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Uh oh. I'm no longer good at this. <laughs> TT brand cute juice behind you. What is MTT? So, I guess, I guess we're just fighting. Hold up longer to jump higher. Yeah, figured. Okay, whew. Papyrus Dab's MTT brand attraction slime behind his ear. Man, you've got all these things. You've been preparing for this for a long time. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Ooh, crap. You caught me unawares. I was doing your voice. Oh, oh. <laughs> MTT brand beauty yogurt behind his ear. There's a lot of stuff going on behind your ear now, man. Uh, okay. I can almost taste my future popularity. Oop, that was a... He's got that little extra... That little extra thing. I'm gonna... Is it the bicycle? Yeah. yeah. The Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard. Whoa, oh gosh, we got some flappy bird going on. We're all dead. Okay. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Okay, so get out of the item. Fight him some more. Papyrus unparalleled Spagator. Spagator. Nope. Okay, I don't know what just happened. Whoa! Okay, you're getting interesting, sir, and I like it. Undying would be really proud of me. Whoop. I'm making all these stupid noises. It smells like bones. Do the king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Oh gosh. Wait, no, 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 no! I need to go back and I need to eat the unicycle. You eat the unicycle. You recovered 11 HP. My brother will. Well, he won't change very much. I mean, yeah. Do, do. Rattling his bones. Punch, punch, punch. I'll have lots of admirers, but. Roop. I keep hitting enter. Uh, nope. 
Papyrus is rattling his bones. Oh, his eyeballs went all crazy. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Oh, they're moving now. He's preparing a bone attack. Well, I'm going to prepare... How much does this one do? A lot. You recovered 15. Okay. Someone like you is really rare. Whoa. 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 Oh, that was... That went so wrong. Papyrus whispers... might be kind of hard. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Turn yellow. After you're captured and sent away. <laughs> the pirate is considering his options. Still, okay. I'm gonna... Sometimes you have to do it. Urgh, who cares? Give up! Nope, oh, okay. Oh, awesome, I did that one just right. The pirate's trying hard to play cool. Give up or face my special attack! Is it the same one that made me into a little flappy bird dude? The pirate whispers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Behold my special attack! What the? What the heck? That's my special attack. Really? You stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop punching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? No, give it back! Give it back to him! Sorry, man. <sighs> Come back here with my special attack. Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. You're getting ready for just a regular attack. Do -do 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 -do. Sigh, here's an absolutely normal attack. Whoop. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, that was. I mean, that was difficult, sir. Oh, God. Oh. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Where will it end? Oh. Oh, that was weird. One's gonna... Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Clear you can't defeat me. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now is your chance to accept my mercy. What if I spare him first? No! Can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the world guard, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. What would you say? Let's be one of friends, loser. Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess. I guess I can make an allowance for you. Oh, are we? We haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make piles was to pick the crap out of them was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them. You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul, like you. 
That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Ooh, almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is. Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dreamier, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> Did he jump or... Okay. Alright. No. Here we go. Moving on. Really would like a save point. It's us. Just little sparklies. <laughs> Hang on. I know. Okay, yes, there was a save point there. I'm just curious. Can I can I frogger this thing? No. Okay. Hey, there's Sans. What's up, dude? What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. That's good thinking. I'm going to grill these. Want to come? Uh, sure. Oh, if you insist. I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here. I know a shortcut. Oh, but say... Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansy. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> they all freak out when he tells a joke. Here, get comfy. Whoops. Watch where you sit down. Oh, the whoopee cushion thing. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Uh, burger sounds good. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grilly. We'll have a double order of Berg. I'm a little nervous about what's going to come out of that door. So what do you think of my brother? He's cool. Of course he's cool. He'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Okay. Here comes the grub. Which is Berg spelled backwards. Want some ketchup? Oh, heck yes. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup, the cat falls off, and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. That's called soup. Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. I don't have a stomach. Because I'm a skeleton. What's he patting his butt? Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree, Papyrus tries real hard. I like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. I, he, he did alright, man. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? This week on an after-school special. Yes, so you know all about it. The Echo Flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Paris told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. So is that that little jerk flower that tried to kill me at the start? Or is that a different talking flower? Well, that was a long break. Can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way. I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just a 10,000 G. No. Just kidding. Groovy, put it on my tap. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Oh, look at the ketchup mess. 
Okay. Let's see. Did they have save point? Yeah, they had save point back here by the... Uh, by the... Right here. This thing. Alright. Getting close. Oh, it's actually just over 30 minutes. So, we're going to stop there. And we will be back next time with more wandering around underground. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And until next time, take care, everybody.